Hello, and welcome back to The Brainwave. My name's Peter, and today we're talking about a game called 2048. The goal is to get the 2048 tile, which doesn't seem that bad because the numbers add up quickly. You put pairs of numbers together, twos and twos make fours, and fours and fours make eights, and eights and eights make 16. But as I'm playing this game, I can't help but wonder, what's going on in the math behind here? Like, how many moves would it take me to get 2048? Well, to start, by the definition of the game, you need two tiles that are 124. That means you need four tiles of 512, and each of those would take two 56 tiles, and so on and so on and so on. So if you do this all out, you find that you need 1,024 two tiles. You think that this game is about adding, and it is, but multiplication is just faster adding. And this kind of multiplication is really just doing exponents of a series of numbers with a base of two. But what about these numbers? Well, it turns out that this series is called the binary number series, and it's the basis for all of computer programming. I'm not the best with math, so I went to an expert to learn more about binary numbers. It's just a number system that only has two digits, zero and one. Hmm. So if we take the tens number system, so let's go here. This is the thousands place. This is the hundreds place. Mm -hmm. This is the tens place. And this is the ones place. This is 10 to the zero power. This is 10 raised to the first power. This mm -hmm. is 10 raised to the second power. And this is 10 raised to the third power. You and I see this number, and we say that number is 2014. But what is it really? Two thousands, no hundreds, one ten, and one four, which gives me 2014. If you understand that much, the rest is real easy. So these will be the powers, the zero power, the one power, the two power, three power, four power. I'm going to say that the, that the base is going to be two. So we got the same thing here. In base two, you got the zero and you got one. One, oh, one, 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 oh, oh, one. That's a perfectly good binary number. But what is it, what is it in base 10 that you and I are familiar with? We take the number and we multiply it by the base raised to the power. Zero times anything is going to be zero. Now here we have a one times 2 raised to the third power, so that's eight. 8. Here we have a 1 times 2 to the fourth power, so that's 16. And then if I sum all of those, I indeed get the number in base 10 as 185. So this game is more than a soothing exercise in addition. It's a demonstration of binary code written in binary code. And this game, 2048, is by no means the extent of binary series effect on gaming. Binary computers often have an upper bound of 2 to the n minus 1. Take, for example, a game run on an 8-bit system. So this system can hold eight digits in the binary code and would have an upper bound of 255. Like in the original Legend of Zelda, you can only hold 255 rupees. Or at the end of Pac-Man, there's a famous kill screen after the 255th level. These aren't creative choices. They're computational limitations of the system. So the code for 2048 is open source, meaning anyone can go in and play with it and tweak it how they like. If you really want to let your geek flag fly, try this 3D version. Or how about this one based on the Fibonacci series? Or this one where you start with the 2048 tile and work your way back down to one. And my favorite, you can do this one where instead of combining numbers, you combine elements. So if you have a friend who's addicted to this game, be sure to send them this video so they can learn more with you. Share, comment, and subscribe if you learn something. My name is Peter, and this has been an episode of The Brainwave. But don't forget about zero. Never forget about zero.